In the last installment of our Sunday in-depth reports, we introduced you to the problem of mosquito halls or publicly constructed facilities that quickly fall into disuse. For the past four years, artist Yao Rei-Jong has been documenting facilities constructed with public funds which are later abandoned. He believes more oversight is needed to prevent the waste, especially as science and technology parks where an estimated 120 billion NT dollars worth of land remains idle. This is Yunlin's Taisi Township. Without receiving special permission, locals are prohibited from accessing this bridge that connects this industrial zone located on an outlying island. This piece of land is a special administrative area near Taishi's Fifth Alley Village. It covers a total area of 283 hectares and was completed around 2002 or 2003. The government spent some 20 billion NT of taxpayer money to pump sand and complete this marine reclamation project. The money may as well have been tossed into the sea as the land has not been used in 20 years. At first it was for Formosa Plastics, which wanted to build a steel mill. Later Guoguang Petrochemical was going to build a factory, but later neither did. Formosa Plastics went to Vietnam, and Guoguang is now in Jianghua. Here we see solar panels as well as a neatly constructed science and technology building. This location is an hour drive from Hualien in Fengling Township. The facility is the Hualien Environmental Science Park. It was completed in 2009 with the use of some 860 million NT in public funds. Now it's a ghost town. The original purpose of this public construction was to activate idle industrial land and promote local prosperity. After it was finished, more than a dozen companies moved in, but in 2011, they all moved out. In rural Hualien County, the government seems to be more than willing to spend money to build public projects that soon fall into disuse. Near Hualien's old railway station is a solar city that consumed more than 500 million NT in public funds and opened in 2009. This main purpose of constructing this building was to generate electricity. The government thought that it could generate energy to be sold to Thai Power, allowing it to earn 400,000 NT. The solar city has solar panels throughout, but while it doesn't sell electricity anymore, after only six years, these stairs show the effect of corrosion, and planters are left dry and the elevator is forever stuck on the first floor. When I came to visit, it's always on the first floor, indicating that it's no longer in use. For the purpose of elections, the government is willing to fund such projects. And there are many large constructions planned, with its local government willing to go into debt. Afterwards, this debt is inherited by others and creates an even bigger debt problem. While technology parks and industrial areas may account for many of these disused publicly constructed facilities, the vast majority of these abandoned spaces are actually markets. Due to changing environments, some of these buildings have lost their functions. For example, this market may have had many people 30 years ago, but now it has been made redundant by convenience stores, supermarkets and department stores. Here we see crowds in front of Beigang's Chao Tian Temple, with two rows of shops doing a brisk business. Opposite is a large building that was designed to be a retail space, with the Beigang Township office spending 700 million NT to construct a special BOT project. This is a very lively street, which surprises us that it has a giant hidden ruin. The building sits in stark contrast to conditions on the street which is bright and bustling with large crowds. Inside, it is dark, with wires strewn on the ground and caved-in ceiling tiles. The contrast between inside and outside is startling. Upgrading this area was a mistake, as many people were forced out and they established stalls outside. Another problem was that they built a multi-story market. 
Many people feel that it's inconvenient to climb to the second floor as one loses an emotional connection to the traditional atmosphere of the market. Taiwan's publicly constructed buildings that have fallen into disuse continue to grow and multiply, causing a financial burden on the government. Unfortunately, government authorities have not been able to find a new use for these facilities. I have been calling on the government to use a percentage of this idle space to be used as a creative space for young people. It wouldn't cost anything to implement such a change. Rising housing prices mean that Taiwan's young people can't afford to buy a house. However, with billions of dollars wasted on these public facilities, it's clear that the government's land planning policies have spiraled out of control. For the moment, disused public facilities continue to occupy much of the domestic landscape, as many believe these buildings could be put to much better use. <laughs>